So somebody under my video has asked this question. Can I make a tutorial on how I put my character in my videos? Which is basically what you are seeing right now. And don't worry, it's pretty simple. You don't actually need to do anything other than, well, record your character. But I'm going to be showing additional methods on how to make a place for that and basically show you everything you need to know. But as usual, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and let's get into the video. So what all of this is, is basically getting your character on a green screen and then using a video editing software to basically achieve this effect. So the easiest thing that you can do right now is just for example search for a green screen game. And there is going to be multiple ones, like for example one that I used previously, which is the green screen emotes. And you don't need to actually get the private server, you can for example just simply join it, like this. And then just start recording to get the clip. But I'm not going to get the footage right now since we can actually do this in a bit of a different way. And that's by jumping into Roblox Studio and making our own green screen game. So I'm just going to open an empty base plate, and then in here we basically just want to get rid of, well, everything. So I'm going to remove the decal from the spawn location as well as make it transparent and uncollidable by deselecting the can collide property and remove the texture from the base plate and also make it transparent. But now another thing that we need to change is going to be the skybox and we do that by going to the lightning and then the sky. And right here we have all of these properties like skybox back, skybox down and so on. So we just want to replace all of these with a green screen image. And we can either go to the toolbox, go to the decals and then type in green screen. Where right here we can just simply for example just copy the asset ID and paste it into one of these properties. And what this is going to do is basically just change one of the decals of the sky. And if you don't want to use anything from the toolbox, you can use any image manipulation program like for example GIMP or Photoshop or even Photopea, which I'm also going to show really quickly. So here I'm in the Photoshop, right? And I can just make a new project with basically these dimensions and then just press on OK. Then I can just simply select the green color, which is going to be 0 and random blue, and 255 on green. Now this means that the color is going to be 100% green, and that's basically what we want. Then we can either make a new layer, or just modify the already existing one. And although this process is going to be really simple, the reason that I want to show this is because, for example, your character can have green parts. And it would be better to, for example, use blue for the blue screen, so you don't get any artifacts in the video editing software. And you can also have any different combinations of like pink, red or so on, but the green screen is going to be the most universal. But then we basically just want to export the image, then just save it anywhere. And I'm actually just going to save this one to Roblox, just so I can upload the asset by going to the asset manager and then pressing on the bulk import. And from right here I just want to navigate to my file. Then once this is imported I want to copy the asset ID and then just place it back in the skybox properties. And now the whole place is going to be green. But there is going to be some additional lightning settings that we are going to need to tweak, since you can also see my character, well, shine green. And the lightning properties that we are going to change are basically going to be the ambient that we changed to 170, and these two most important ones, the diffuse and specular scale, that we just want to change to zero. Lightning set I'm just going to keep realistic, and then the clock time is basically going to be dependent on if the sun is going to be too much of an interruption for you. But if I do a playtest now, you can see that everything is working properly. And also someone might say that having a place is going to be too much of an overkill for, well, this effect. But like right here we are going to have more control over the whole environment and the lighting settings, which are again going to be dependent on your character. Like one of the things I need to always take into account is going to be the position of the sun, where if I just turn around, you can see that my character is going to be a bit darker, and that's because the sun isn't shining at him, like it is right here. And you are also going to be able to add many different assets and animations and so on that you can play on your avatar, which is something that you wouldn't be able to do in a game on by someone else. But anyway, let me actually just publish this place into Roblox, by going to file and publish to Roblox. And the game is of course going to be in your creator hub, and mine is well right here, so I can just press on it, and then press on the view on Roblox button, where right here we can simply just play it. And here is my character on the green screen. So for now I'm simply just going to record a clip of me moving my camera around and walking with my character, and right after that I'm going to go into my video editing software. So yeah, which is as many of you know DaVinci Resolve. And right here I'm basically just going to draw the clip that I recorded, which is 
like I said, me walking and moving my camera around. And I'm not going to need the audio tracks. Now, the thing to notice is that I have my cursor over here next to the UI, and that's because I don't want it to be on my character, since if it was my character with my cursor on my face, for example, it would just be very distracting for you guys to watch. But yeah. And right here what I want to do is simply select the clip and just crop out the stop part by simply going to the video and then cropping and then change the slider on the crop top just so the UI and cursor are invisible, like that. And to get rid of the green screen itself, we need to add an effect called 3D Keyer. Now it's going to be probably different on the software that you are using, so you just might have to search for different tutorials on how to for example remove a green screen. But basically, I'm going to go to the OpenFX and then search for the 3D Keyer, which is well right here. So I just want to drag it on top of the clip and it alone is not going to do anything, and that's because we need to have this open effects overlay. Now you might see that you have the transform and this is no problem. All you need to do is simply press on this arrow and then press on the open effects overlay. And also make sure that it's going to be selected since if it's not, we are not going to be able to do anything. But if it actually is, it will allow me to draw this outline around my character while basically just pressing the left mouse button. Now you can also see this line on top and this sometimes happens because of the cropping. And to get rid of it, we can either change the cropping value, for example it disappeared on 90, or simply just zoom the video in, like this. But now we can also see that it kind of left a border around my character, and getting rid of it is also going to be pretty easy. Since if I just go back to the effects and the 3D keyer, I'm going to have this behavioral options tab, which is going to have the display slider that we simply want to drag to the maximum. And it also took a little bit of color and saturation from my character. And don't worry, this is going to be normal, but we are basically just going to need to do a little bit of post-processing, which in DaVinci Resolve is going to happen on the color tab. And simply while having this corrector node selected, I just want to add a little bit of saturation, as well as the highlight. And I simply just want to mess around with these values until I'm going to achieve the effect that I want. And this one is pretty much alright. But how do I know that this is actually working and it's not just going to have a black screen all the time? And well, to prove it, I can, for example, drag another video and just change the channel of my character to be overlaid on top. And now if I drag this video to the beginning, you can actually see that my character is going to be overlaid on top, so I can simply, for example, just have him right here. Where if I were to actually play the video, you can see that it had the same effect like it does in all of my previous videos too. Except I also had additional stuff like, for example, a drop shadow under my character just so it's a little bit more highlighted. And basically just like that, this is how I achieved the effect and again shout out to CJ Oliver for actually suggesting it. I thought that it was going to be a pretty informative video to make for you guys. So yeah, that's basically going to be everything. So as usual, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. Also check out my Patreon page and yeah. Thanks everyone for watching, hope you had a nice day and see you guys.